Well, it's one of the rarest astronomical events in the world. The transit of Venus is a once-in-a-lifetime event, with Venus crossing the disk of the sun. KITV 4 Shane and Wright is live at the Bishop Museum where a viewing party is being held. Shane, bringing us a closer look. Paula, we were always told not to look directly at the sun, but today with the correct eye protection, it was the perfect day for a lifetime opportunity. With one eye tightly shut, the other peering into a lens, Francesca Aguda experienced astronomical wow. history. The ever resident stared closely at a tiny black dot on the sun's surface. It was really cool. It's a big orange sun. And then maybe right about here, there was Venus slowly coming into the transit of the sun. At 12.09 this afternoon, the transit of Venus began, crossing east to west between the sun and the earth. A cosmic event so rare, it hasn't been viewed in Hawaii since 1874. For even the youngest Venus viewers, this is the one and only chance they'll get to catch the phenomenon that isn't expected to occur for another 105 years. I knew it wasn't going to happen until like um, 2117 or 2125, and I knew I wouldn't live that long, so I tried to come today and see it. Volunteers from the Hawaii Astronomical Society lent their telescopes to the Bishop Museum for the curious to check out the cosmic encounter. I'm very, very excited. I've been in astronomy for a long time, and this is the very first time I have ever seen the transit of Venus. In Waikiki, visitors look to the sky to track the planet's progress. I love it in Hawaii and the, with the sun and the surf and, and everything. And being from Seattle, too many clouds to see hardly anything. So this is, this is wonderful. Besides passing cloud coverage, Hawaii is the only location in the world where the complete six-hour transit remained visible. The ideal place to be, from what I understand, is west coast of the United States or Hawaii. That means we get to see the start uh, and the finish if we hang around long enough. And back here live, people are still here at the Bishop Museum. They have about an hour and a half before that black dot will disappear. Other events across the state included one at Chaminade University, another out at Ko'olina, and one on the Big Island. Tonight at 6, we'll explain why a long, long time ago, astronomers relied on the information gathered from the transit of Venus. Reporting live from the Bishop Museum, Shane Enright, KITV4 News. All right, thanks, Shane.